what's your connection with Corfu? Well, I first came about 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. Like a few people who come and go, we fell in love with the place. And eight years ago, I bought a nice little property in one of the villages called Pelicas. Mm -hmm. What was the reason for writing the book? Well, I became involved with the CorfuForum.com, mm -hmm. which is a, a forum for for English and, and Greek people. Yeah. Obviously, you can find out a lot of information on that. Is this a kind of forum that's useful for people that are maybe thinking about coming to Corfu and yes. they want to ask oh, yes, questions? Yes. It's, very, it's very comprehensive. The guy that owns the site said, Steve, if you want to do a section on travel and tourism, go ahead. And so I said, OK, I'll, I'll yeah. do it. But then I thought, I'll do the villages, mm -hmm. because obviously I bought a place in Pelicas eight years ago. And Pelicas is a village. Exactly. Yeah. But there was hardly any information on the smaller villages. Oh, really? Villages around Corfu, which are beautiful. So they're kind of lost and forgotten? Yeah, but they, there's lots of little, there's lots of life there. Mm, mm. And so I thought, well, I know what I'll do. I'll get on my scooter, I'll go around <laughs> the villages, and I'll write a book. Right, and how did you research it? Did you, I mean, is it literally a case of you got on your scooter, picked a village to go to, and just sat down and spoke to the locals? Well, that's right. Um, we, if there's no information, you have to speak to the local papas, yeah. or somebody in a bar. Absolutely. And then I thought, well, Greece is having such a tough time. Mm. If I can sell the book, yeah. um, we can maybe make some money for charity. Mm. I, I can see two key benefits here. The first, of course, is the um, benefit in terms of the charities yeah. and the people that are less fortunate that live on the island. Of but of course, secondly, and quite often, the image of Corfu is that of um, youngsters with lots of drinking, lots of loud music, etc. There are places that cater for people that like that, but of course it's very different, isn't it? It is. I mean, Corfu, north, south, east, west, is all very different. Mm. All the youngsters go down south, don't they? Yeah. Right down the very bottom at Cavos. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of Corfu is open to all ages. Mm. So what this book is obviously going to do is open people's eyes and say, look, yes, we've got resorts. If you're a youngster, we've got places for youngsters. But hey, we've got some absolutely beautiful village yes. um, settings and they're all in the book. What's the plan? Because it says on the book it's part one of three. So oh, right. Well, part one is on the central uh, villages. Yep. Part two will be on the north of the island. Right. Next year I'll do part three, mm -hmm. which will be the south. All right, so you're going to cover the whole... I'm going to cover the whole island. Yeah, fantastic. And how do people get this? How do they, how do they download this? Have you got a website? Yeah, well, I've, I've uh, produced a website now. So, right. um, and that's corfuvillages.eu? Simple, corfuvillages.eu. That's an easy one to remember. It is, and if they go online, it's two clicks away from buying it. Really? That's all. And it's how much? Two ninety nine. And you can also buy a Kindle edi edition, which right. is text only, right. for about two pounds. Mm. Okay. But I think the PDF is better because you get the, a lot of photographs that have never been taken before. Mm. And they've been taken by you? Yes, and all the text is mine. And it's going to open people's eyes to the history of these villages, mm. which I think is very important. Mm. Mm. And if you go to a resort, I like to think that you might visit one or two villages on mm. your holiday. Mm. Because often when you go to a resort, you're never far from a village and That's you right. can always have a stroll or yeah. maybe get a scooter or a hire car or something. Drive up there and go to the, one, one of the local caffeineans. Yeah. And I know from my experience, there's always some character in there that oh, will yes. tell you the history and yes, yes. Yes, all definitely. about the family. So two really good benefits. So how much money have you raised? Well, we've raised about 650 euros so far. That's brilliant. Um, about 500 of that has been through the book sales, mm -hmm. but about 150 maybe has been through uh, private donations. Fantastic. Because you can donate money as well. And you can donate money on the website. Yeah, and then today, where we've been, we've been to Lidl near the airport, mm -hmm. and I've had some helpers, and um, we've bought about 300 euros of food, so sugar, salt, um, tins of tomato, We've bought all the things that people need. Rice pasta. Yeah. So all this has been dropped off at the uh, Red Cross in Corfu town. Yeah. And that will be distributed through the villages around Corfu, hopefully in the next week. So Steve, we've talked about the book and what you've done for charity and all the photographs and yeah. the information. What's today about? Well, Kev, it's just another excuse to raise some money for the Corfu charities. That's fantastic. So okay. it's a charity football match. Who's playing? <laughs> we have some boys from uh, England. Friend, yes. Friends have come over to play. And we have um, a Dutch friend as well. 
Really? We've got another couple of boys on the way down. So it's a pretty multinational thing. And yeah. What happens? How how's the money raised? Do you. Uh... Well, what we're going to do on this particular one is maybe mm. go to the bar after, of course. Yes. Cool, As you do. Cool down a little bit. Yeah. Have a few beers and maybe just ask uh, people to. Uh, donate five euros each, maybe mm. something like mm. that. Mm. Well, they can buy the. Um, you know, we talked about the book. Mm. I've actually got a PDF on a CD now. Oh, really? So you can actually don't have to download it. I can actually give it you for five. So you euros. can actually buy the CD yeah. with the book on. Yeah. So I'll take some of those to the taverna later. And the money from the football match will go to the same charities that we discussed. Yeah. About the book. Yeah. That's fantastic. Different types of uh, charities. This one, the Red Cross, maybe something different next time. Who's going to win? The Greeks. Ah. Or it's so hard to say. <laughs> uh, the Greeks are a little bit younger than us. Right. We have okay. we have an average age of about fifty. <laughs> but uh, we still play five a side in England, so yep. we're pretty fit, hopefully. Okay. Well, listen. Best of luck with the football. Well, I think that's absolutely fantastic. That's fantastic. I think it's a brilliant project. Um, I wish you the best of luck with parts two and three, and I certainly will buy parts two and Thank three. You very much. I've already bought part one. Fantastic. Steve, to meet you. it's a great job. Thanks Thank a lot. Cheers.